This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopod, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. In today's episode, you will learn how to make ESP8266 LoRa gateway for Arduino and LM75A I2C supported temperature sensor. Since this is an IoT or Internet of Things based project, so the temperature can be monitored from any part of the world provided if the internet connection is available. For this project, you will need an Arduino board. It depends on you which Arduino board you select. You can use Arduino Uno, Arduino Nano and Arduino Pro Mini. These are available in different sizes. So if you are planning on reducing the project size and cost, then you can go for the Arduino Pro Mini. But in my case, I will continue with the Arduino Nano and I will use my design development board. You will also need an ESP8266 board. Again, you have two choices. You can use Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module or you can use the Mini D1 version of the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. You may also call this as the Mini Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. The only difference between the two boards are D1 Mini is smaller in size, it has less I.O. pins and is obviously low cost. The programming is 100% the same. Any program which is written for the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module will also run on the D1 Mini version of the ESP8266. Just don't use the pins which are not available in D1 Mini version of the ESP8266. So for this project, I will use the mini version of the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. You will also need a pair of SX1278 LoRa transceiver modules, SSD1306 I2C supported or LED display module, and LM75 a temperature sensor that supports I2C communication. I have already explained this sensor in quite a detail and you will also need a 5-fold buzzer which is optional. Anyway, here is a prototype model of my ESP8266 LoRa gateway for Arduino and LM75A temperature sensor. I have connected everything as per the circuit diagrams, which I will explain in a minute. This is the transmitter side along which an LM75A temperature sensor, SX1278 LoRa transceiver module and SSD1306 or LED display module are connected. The Arduino reads the LM75A temperature sensor and prints the temperature reading in Celsius and Fahrenheit on the OLED display module and at the same time it also sends the temperature readings to the remote side receiver using the LoRa. And this is the receiver side. It has been connected with a 5 volt buzzer and an SX1278 LoRa transceiver module. This is the ESP8266 LoRa gateway. The ESP8266 takes the temperature readings from the LoRa and then sends these readings to the Blink application which is an IoT platform. You guys might be thinking that the same thing can be done while only using the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. We can entirely connect the LM75 A temperature sensor with the ESP8266 and then we can send the temperature readings to the Blink IoT platform. If you guys are thinking in the same way then you are 100% right. But have you ever thought about why do we need the LoRa gateway in the first place? Will we only use the LoRa gateway when the sensor is installed in such a location where no internet facility is available? Then in a situation like this, we connect a LoRa or any other wireless device with a remote side controller with the help of which then we can send the sensor's data to a location where the internet facility is available. And then from there, the readings are sent to IoT platform. I have covered almost 80% of the IoT platforms. Just go ahead and check my playlist dedicated to IoT projects. I hope now you might have fully understood why do we need and use the LoRa gateway. Anyway, before I'm going to explain the circuit diagrams and programs, first let's watch the ESP8266 LoRa gateway for Arduino and LM75 a temperature sensor in action. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. 
Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project, making them viewable within Ultim Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultim Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultim 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. If you want to start with Ultim Designer, then you can click on the first link in the description. I have powered up the transmitter as well as the receiver side. You can see the temperature readings in Celsius and Fahrenheit on the OLED display module and you can also view the same temperature readings on the Blink application. The receiver side programming I have done in such a way that when the temperature exceeds a set value, a notification message is sent to the Blink application and at the same time buzzer is also turned on. For now, I have selected 45 degrees Celsius as the threshold value. You can make a whole LoRaWAN network consisting of multiple LoRa nodes installed at different locations. You can watch my video on LoRaWAN in which I have demonstrated how to send sensors data from multiple LoRa nodes to the master LoRa node. I will provide a link in the description. I am sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. <laughs> The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The SCL and SDI pins of the LM75 air temperature sensor and OLED display module are connected together and then connected with the Arduino A5 and A4 pins. A5 is the SCL and A4 is the SDA, while the VCC and ground pins are connected with the Arduino's 3.3V and ground pins. The VCC of the LoRa module is connected with 3.3V of the Arduino. The MISO pin of the LoRa module is connected with the Arduino pin 12. The MOSI pin is connected with pin 11. The SCK pin of the LoRa module is connected with pin 13. The NSS pin is connected with the Arduino's pin 10. And the ground pin of the LoRa module is connected with the Arduino's ground. On the left side, you can see a 5 volt regulator power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. We use this regulated 5 volts to power up the Arduino and all the other electronics. The MISO pin of the LoRa SX1278 module is connected with D6 pin of the ESP8266 mini Wi-Fi module. The MOSI pin of the LoRa module is connected with D7 pin. The SLCK pin is connected with pin D5 and the NSS pin of the LoRa SX1278 transceiver module is connected with pin D8, while the VCC and ground pins of the LoRa module are connected with 3.3V and ground pins of the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. The 5V buzzer is connected using the digital pin D3 of the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. We use 2N2222 NPN transistor and a 10 kilo ohm resistor to control the 5 volt buzzer. The transistor and resistor make the driver circuit. Now let's work on the Blink application. Follow the same exact steps.
My Blink application is ready and now let's take a look at the programming. This project is based on two programs. This program is written for the transmitter side whereas this program is written for the receiver side. Let's first start with the transmitter side programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. The LoRa.h, Adafruit GFX.h and Adafruit SSD1306.h libraries I have been using for quite a long time and I have already explained how to download and use these libraries. You can watch my getting started tutorials on the LoRa SX1278 and OLED display module. You will also need the LM75A library which you can download from my website. To add this library simply click on the sketch menu and then go to include library and click on the add zip library. Browse to the desired location and select the zip folder and then finally click on the open button. As I have already added this library so I will click on the cancel button. Maximum of the code I have already explained in my previous LoRa based projects. The purpose of this program is to read the LM75A temperature sensor and then to print the temperature readings on the OLED display module and also to send these values to the remote side receiver. Now let's take a look at the ESP8266 LoRa gateway programming. I have also a very detailed getting started tutorial on the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module in which I have explained how to install the ESP8266 using the board's manager URL link and how to install and use the Blink Simple ESP8266.h. I will add links to all the related videos in the description. I started off by defining the pins. This is the authentication code which is sent while making the Blink application. These are the Wi-Fi credentials and some variables which I have been using in almost all of my LoRa based projects. The code inside the setup function is exactly the same. Inside the loop function we have only two functions blink.run and onreceive functions. The purpose of this code is to split the string message using the getValue function and then the readings are stored in the corresponding variables. The readings are converted back to floor type and then finally these readings are sent to the Blink application through virtual pins V1 and V2. At the same time the controller also checks if the temperature reading is above or below the set value and then accordingly controls the buzzer. So that's all about the programming. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.